hollering of Hollenbeck. Hollenbeck. Joey Hollenbeck. A lot. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening to the Full Buddy Cast Presents. Holland with Hollenbeck. We got Joey Hollenbeck on the mic. You are loud. No, see, you're the first one in the centipede. I can see where I'm at right here. I'm yeah, fine. I can hear what you are in my but, ears. But look, look at the human centipede here. Then I'll do this. How does this sound? How does this sound? I'll do this. Is that better? Yes. Okay. That's see, it's just it's just headphones. Uh, um. Anyway, how's everyone doing? How's good? Good. Join us. We got Joey Hollenbeck on the mic. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. We got to catch up. It's been a bit. We do need to catch up. It's been a minute, buddy. It's been a minute. And uh, I mean, who, last time I talked to you, you were sick. I was sick for a while. It, I got something that wasn't COVID. It just lingered. It felt worse than COVID. I actually talked to you when you were in Vegas for a minute. Yeah, I was in Vegas. I came back. I don't know if we've even caught up on that. No, we haven't. Let's, yeah, I mean, let's roll. Well, I got my next my next Vegas trip is in three weeks, and then I just booked my is it really? yeah, and I, and I booked my July trip as well. So right, listen, when I let's let's step back a minute. When you and I spoke on the phone, I said I I call you normally. You're like, hey, what's up, bro? What's going on? What's happening? You answered the phone like this. Hello. <laughs> I'm like, what's up, dude? I'm in Vegas right now. I'm getting literally stomped. Yeah, I was getting stomped. Uh, you know what? I This is the direct quote from you. You know what? I think that I'm only going to... You were right on our last podcast about like <laughs> me venturing off and doing other things <laughs> because um, yeah. Uh, now this trip, it's really like dawned on me that um, <laughs> once you're in Vegas for eight days <laughs> and you lose all your money in day two and then you plan your, you plan your flight out at... 10 o'clock at this, night, and yeah, you got to check out of your hotel at yeah, 2 or noon. Then you got like 10 hours to kill, but you yeah. spent all your money. Yeah, so you're, you're, re- you're, you're remembering a lot. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Uh, so, yeah, no, I, it was, I'm, I'm officially retiring from any sort of uh, spring trip to Vegas. You're going in three weeks. A, a spring trip in Vegas. <laughs> you just the first day of summer in Vegas. <laughs> it, it actually Technically. is. Technically. Is it well, really? Well, okay. It's, ju- it's June 11th. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Early spring. I'm, I'm retiring. Early spring. Who's go- what? Why? Why this time? Just okay, cause. so I got invited to a golf trip. I don't think I don't know if I told you, you about that golf trip. That. Yeah, Arizona so one where you're supposed to cook something. Yeah, and we got to talk about that too. But um, my wife was like, "Hey, I want to do a girls' trip," and I'm like, "Perfect, just do it the same week. Like, just end of the week, head out." Um, so, so she's going with. Uh, with Desi B, and she's going, well, I should say relatives first. She's, Jamie's going with her mom, and then she's going with Desi B, Shekinah, another Patreon, and Shekinah's friend Shaolin, and then Mel. Uh, just all friends, all homies, all girls, right? Turn me down a little bit more. Turn, is it hurting your ears? Yeah, you're loud in my head. It's okay, but. All right, how's that? Better. I don't know if that's messing with that, though. Anyway, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, it makes it, it, if it makes you feel any better, it sounds to me like you're about nine centimeters away from my <laughs> ear with a megaphone. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, there's something there. There's something for that. But anyway, all right. See now it's it's oh well whatever. Okay, you can just pull your ear off if you want. But that's <laughs> no, okay. I'll just get hearing aids after this. There's a, there's a miracle ear place right down so, the road. So I'm flying. I'm 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 golfing in, in Phoenix, and so then I'm flying in from uh from Phoenix for a night. Friday night, flying into Vegas for one night, chill with all the gals, and then fly home on Saturday. Oh, so just one night. Just a one night. Thing. Just enough to blow a couple <laughs> grand. Ten grand. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. So you're the guy that like shows up on the girls' trip, just like, hey, I just. They're going to show up. <laughs> well, the thing is, is Jamie's J- this whole time, Jamie was like, you're not going. You're not going. I'm like, listen, you wouldn't know Desi B if it wasn't for me. You wouldn't know Shekinah if it wasn't for me. You wouldn't know you Mel can't, if it you wasn't can't, for me. You cannot let. I'm the common You denominator. cannot let somebody in your family go to Vegas without you showing up. It's, you can't. It's true. In fact, in September, my cousin's getting married in Denver on a weekend. <laughs> and I think I think we're going to fly in one night to Vegas. And then, and then. What does really one night do? Just gives you that like, ah. Uh, you, know, you have a problem. I, I love the vibe. It's the vibe. I, I'm now. It, there's relaxation, but there's also excitement. I like the like. It sounds like like going. But here's the thing: 
shout out Dean Stoneburner and shout out Rachel because I went over to their house when Jamie was on another girl's trip like a, a couple weeks ago and they told me about their trip to Mexico and I may be I might be in on just going and yeah just laying by a pool why wouldn't you all inclusive eat all you want drink all you want yeah and then activities that they have activities there if, <laughs> let's face it you're not gonna be doing any activities you just <laughs> you just doing a hodge a hodge <laughs> modge podge or whatever the hell it's called and the, you just oh i'm getting a little sunburn i think i'm gonna go in and <laughs> try this uh stucco this stucco craft <laughs> well i don't know i didn't know i was going like in the 1880s to to uh to mexico but i like there's probably a rock wall that i could watch people climb <laughs> rock wall you in a wet t-shirt contest whoa that really took a left turn <laughs> i'd win <laughs> i'd be in the top five at least for sure um so yeah but anyway i'm excited i'm excited for all these things i'm, I'm looking forward to the re- relaxation aspect and uh anyway yes vegas i'm excited uh let's talk about you for a moment let's talk about the curls hair is getting longer yeah you're looking more and more dapper yeah really yeah I just put the words in your mouth what are you, you gonna say well I, I was gonna say like i feel like your gray is going away it's yeah. like it's a weird thing like you like, like, like you're benjamin button. benjamin button right now reversing the gray <laughs> are you doing a little just for men right now no a little just. i did trim my beard today though oh that see that helps i got the when i yeah you actually look I only good. got like a little spot like under my like not much right chin yeah yeah you have a little more depth yeah you. well it's you know when you're a when you're a silverback, you're a silverback over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I was talking to somebody who really enjoys your episodes. They're like, you know, listen, I, I like Garage Night. I like, but I really like Joey's, and I'm trying to remember who it was. Everybody, yeah, probably. <laughs> it was probably everybody. But I I, I needed to kind of, um, yeah, make you feel good there, but. But uh, so let's talk about your life for a moment. Talk about you for a moment. Um, are you with your job? Are you ready to move to another state based upon weather? Like, are you tired of this weather yet? I am, but I know what's coming. I know what's coming, and you can't beat summer around here, dude. We're mid May almost, and it feels like January. I know it's going to be eighty in the middle of October. Watch. Oh, so you, okay. We'll just push back a little bit. Our axis is tilted just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Just so a little bit. Okay. So, but I don't know if I can handle, I don't know. I'm, I'm at that point where I'm like seriously contemplating that in a few years, I, I may move out of the state. Where are you going to go, Trev? Arizona. Oh, where it's 130. Yeah. But I'll have a pool. Yeah, but you'll still be inside the whole time because it's too hot. Yeah, but it, it'll be by a pool. You'll still be inside because it's too hot. Your pool, unless you, <laughs> you're going to put ice cubes in it, your pool's going to be at 98 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> <laughs> same boat buddy <sighs> i'm just so tired of this area it's just just the way like it's been it, it'll be the the it's hail then five minutes later it's a little bit of sun and some hey, wind and some rain shit outlook on probably one of the, i've lived i know you've i know you've been from here to eastern washington and to vegas <laughs> i've lived all over the world <laughs> all over the entire world <laughs> and um Every time I come back here, it dawns on me that this is the most beautiful place that I've ever been. But don't you miss the don't sun? Take it for granted. It's four months. It's June. It, it's literally February, me, March, April, May is a super month. Tell it's, me a better place to be when it is sunny here and you got lakes, rivers, barbecue. You smell a little smoke in the air when you get out of your car after work. Here, neighbor next door burning something while you're about ready to cook a delicious that's steak selic. or something. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, that's selic. Yeah, that's. Oh, dude, I wasn't talking about just selic. burning something. That's burning, probably a tire, burning. a car on fire. Oh, that, that, that's what you meant. No, I meant like a barbecue <laughs> going. So neighbor burning something next door. <laughs> I meant like on the barbecue, <laughs> like a tire. <laughs> <laughs> hey Willis, <laughs> the hell are you cooking over there? <laughs> oh God, oh. God. <laughs> Got a few of these old good riches I had to get rid of. <laughs> it's so true though. Out there, man, it's like it's like who needs a like bonfire? That's an everyday occurrence. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Where's that black cloud come? Ah, that's Selick. <laughs> They're having a bonfire sitting around inhaling rubber. 
<laughs> and drinking rainy rice. <laughs> Toby just ran across the street with no uh, shoes on. Dude, true that. True that. That's um, awesome. What's 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 new with you, bro? Are you cooking anymore? Or you okay, you so, gave it up? No, no, I'm still cooking. Um, I I went on a I, I'm doing a diet. I know it, I've I've actually I've I have been over 250 pounds, highest I'd say 258, um, for like two years. I was able to get it down. I'm I'm now my lowest in the past two weeks has been 246. So you're down about four or five pounds. No, I'm down like 10 pounds. Oh, you're 58. Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. And it's just been eating less. And the weird thing is my taste buds are kind of changing on me. And I never thought like I had mayo for the first time in like four weeks. Who cuts out mayo? I, I just, it, you know, it's the foods that involve. I'm, I'm not eating as many sandwiches. I'm not eating as many burgers. I'm, I'm literally eating like a freaking. Speaking of burgers, we'll touch on pumice in a minute. Okay, okay. I can't wait. But yeah. So then I actually had a sandwich with some mayo and it was like. Oh, I had actually, I was like a two-year-old and scraped it all off. You? Oh, gosh. I need Miracle Whip now. Oh, no. It, t- it literally tastes like Miracle Whip to me. Dude, my taste buds are changing too, bro. Are you eating differently or what is it? No. COVID. I, I don't I don't know if I ever had COVID. If I did, I don't. I didn't know it. Right. But something's changed in me for sure. Like, I will eat anything mexican food wise for the most part i love it i love oh, your flavors on, you're back on your the, bullshit i see you're no back, i back. love the flavor legit i love the flavors of like just a taco like meat sour cream salsa lettuce whatever you know it used to be cilantro dude i can barely stomach the smell of cilantro now i don't even like it at all dude I, that is crazy Maybe yours, maybe, if, maybe I did it. I don't know. I don't think I did, but if I did, then. Kind of rewired you a little bit? Maybe. Did you get sick at all? And not, not, I mean, I feel like everyone's getting sick right now. Like no, everyone. But you know what? Not- I got a little congested like maybe a month or two ago. Um, able to function fine, but right. I just felt like a little congested. Did it little, linger like, a little bit? But I felt like maybe it was like allergies. Like the dude, I was buying some Flonase just to like clear me up, thinking yeah. it might have been allergies. And the guy's like, you know what, man? I start getting allergies. I start getting allergies like your age ish, and it was when like grass started to grow, like started to like take off. I'd get allergies. I'm like, shit, maybe I got allergies. Like, I don't hey, know. Hey. I've never had allergies before. My <laughs> eyes were like, look like, <laughs> look like I was taking bong ribs every day, but <laughs> like it was just like bloodshot eyes and like watery eyes, and <laughs> you're like, Th- thanks, buddy. Uh, anyway, I'll have a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> thanks, bro. Can you just give me the. <laughs> I didn't ask for your life story, pal. Uh, but yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, uh, Dr. Phil. Can I get the uh, <laughs> Can I get that bottle of kettle one behind you? Thanks. <laughs> or you didn't even say you just go. Mm. Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna get <laughs> me. Five dollars that lottery ticket over there. <laughs> uh, what was that? Oh c- good story. Um <laughs> oh man. Uh yeah. So okay, yeah. So I mean, sorry, then are you cooking different? Are you cooking more Mexican food? Like is that what oh, you're I still doing? love Mexican food. I, I I I'm glad like sour cream didn't go out of the mix mm-hmm. and salsa I'm still mm. good with. And I can still do like cilantro in it. It's just like me working with it, like cutting it up. Like if it's like kind of overpowers anything, like I'm what I'll about still onions? Eat it. Onions? Oh yeah, I'll, yeah. I like onion. I like all that stuff. But, but cutting it, garlic is it? It's it's just the cilantro. Just cilantro, dude. And I would never bothered me ever, be, ever. Mm. Excuse me, mm. ever. Yeah, I I think I'm going. It could be. It could be. I don't know who I was talking to. I don't know who I was talking to. Somebody. I'm I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. But uh, that you know, me having to cook for that group. What so group the, the that golf group you know i gotta oh, yeah. yeah what are you gonna do well here's so what you can't sh- do burgers they said right yeah no so what jamie likes you might want to change your mind after i tell you what i've been cooking lately that's my new masterpiece well we're gonna get into that masterpiece okay okay what are well, you gonna cook i am probably you? stouffer's mac and cheese <laughs> no it's gonna pro- it's gonna be probably mexican food so I forget who said that. There you so, go, dude. Go get carne asada. Yes, yes, and just and and I might even get a little chicken, and, and so people can make their own, and maybe pulled pork, and and and, and just do okay. Maybe not pulled pork, but don't do pulled pork. But do I, what Jamie likes when she lays down. She lays out in the sun. I'll get a little truly that new vodka truly, uh, or or lemonade. It's actually, vodka. Yeah, I think it's 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 yeah, it's like a vodka strawberry truly or whatever. 
I'll bring it out. I got it in the fridge. Love heartburn. And come in. Hi. Hi. How are you? Um, do you remember those candies that you had? Yeah, I got some for you in the truck. Do you really? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's, that was like three years ago, and she's still. <laughs> did we buy this game? Um, when mom gets home, you can ask her. Okay. Okay. All right. If you. Okay. okay. In between episodes, I'll give you your candy. All Ted. right. Go, take goose out get this, please. If you get this dog out of here, this massive, fire-breathing dog. Good job. Also, Dad, um, yeah. Goose, you're gonna you're gonna break your arm. <laughs> goose, um, goose, go. Goose, um, throw that. Oh yeah, I think he was eating some of that grass that I was weed whacking. All right. And even he go, ate go. a rock in his tummy. He did. That's probably exactly what it was. All right, here go, you go out. Where, no, where, okay, hold on just a second. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Bye, love you. Mom's coming home soon. Okay, so anyway, Jamie likes to lay out in the sun, play a little music, and and then you know she's listening to this little music, reading her book, you know. And what I do is I just slave away in the kitchen, and I do. You just window open, drapes blowing in the wind a little bit. Yeah, just shirt off. <laughs> Uh, sweat glistening. I got uh, two. Don't, uh, honey, don't mind that curly in your drink. <laughs> Who ordered the truly with the curly? <laughs> She's like, could you put the umbrella in bef- I get the very beginning? Just so. <laughs> no, like ASAP before you pour anything. Before you just, like immediately put that umbre- a large umbrella, please. Um, <laughs> no, like a real umbrella. <laughs> Or just wear a shirt. <laughs> I, I, uh, and then and I'll do two white onions. I'll do uh, for what you I'll, were just talking about Trulies. No, I'll, for I'll make my own pico de gallo, and I, I make it fresh, dude. I make it. I I figured it out. And tomatoes, uh, fresh tomatoes, fresh onions, fresh garlic, uh, jalapeno. No jalapeno. What? Because she doesn't like the spice too much, but I do throw cilantro in there. Onion, onions and garlic give it the bite you know you with the cilantro. With? You know what you should go with instead? And then lime. Do a little serrano. What is serrano? Um, is it like a cilantro? Like, like what? No, it's a pepper. Okay. It's a pepper. Okay. But they're not as hot. Maybe a poblano is what you want to do. Okay. Serrano might be hotter than a hot I'm, I, I'm down, I'm down with, with figuring that one out. But it, they're not... Like and they'll avocado, give you the, sorry. They'll give you the similar. Sorry, I'm gonna cut you off. Okay, I'm done. they'll give you the similar like flavor, but not without the spice. But dude, honestly, like I've been making salsa quite a bit too. Yeah, I've been doing like a, a pineapple mango. That's a good idea. Uh, um, pineapple mango salsa, cilantro, red onion, same thing, red pepper. Um, did a cabbage one the other day, like angel hair, like cabbage with like a lot of salt, pepper, jalapeno, yeah, some Roma tomatoes, onion. A little bit of um, lime juice, dude. A little bit of olive oil, mix it all up. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a like a big bowl of like that pico de gallo, and then I'll and I'll get some chips. <laughs> you got to add jalapeno to it. I might have I might I might have jalapeno like on the side, just fresh. No, and they put it in the salsa. Can. It dilutes itself when you do it, and it'll give it a nice spice, but not overpower. Okay, so let me ask you this: Am I chopping it, like, or am I leaving the rings? No, 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 no. You're going to chop it. So what you're going to do is cut the end with the stem on it. Yeah. Cut it off. Yeah. And then you'll see the seeds in the middle. And then you can just kind of cut down next to the seeds and spin it. Yeah. And then, or you can just cut it in half. Okay. Do this. Cut the end off of it with the seed. Yeah. Cut it in half completely. Take a little spoon and pull the seeds out. The seeds are what hot, is, what, is what's hot. And so, and then a couple, a couple seeds fall. No big yeah, deal. Yeah, no big deal. But but then, am, am I dicing? And it? then you're gonna cut it into strips and then dice it small. Okay, all right, I'll That's do how that. You do it. I will do and that. And I would look. You can look it up. Uh, like a good salsa recipe, but uh, limes. But then, what you gotta do though? You're gonna be an AZ. What day are you cooking? I hope not the first one. But yeah, because if it's not, just tell them you can't cook the first one. Because if you have time, Blaze, there's some, there's some good. I know. Where are you going? What Phoenix? Yeah. There's good, like, I mean, you're right there, dude. Like, there's Mexican, like, stores and stuff. You go get, like, you probably get pre-seasoned carne asada. There we go. Get the tortillas there. Get, like, you can probably get the uh, pollo asada or whatever it's called. It's just marinated chicken. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, all you got to do is grill it. If you And, like, the if it's real deal, like. Holyfield? 
Holy field. And then uh, uh, carne asada. You kiss. just basically got to drag it over the grill, give it a little kiss, give it a little kiss, and then freaking cut it up. Let them fat boys feast. <laughs> <laughs> that would be such a good podcast or like YouTube channel name. Let them fat boys feast. And it's just a cooking channel. Let them fat boys feast. There you go. That's good, man. I know. I, <laughs> I'm I'm full of it up you, here. You dude, you kinda are. I'm full of it up here. I, I, you kinda are. Um all right, so tell me about this masterpiece burger. Dude, dude, I've been, hungry right I've now. been making this juicy Lucy burger. <laughs> it's simple but complex. <laughs> Just like, just like you, <laughs> very true. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I do is I, <coughs> I take organic beef mm. and mm. I take a scale, like a little food scale, break up some parchment paper, put it on the scale, weigh out four ounce balls, ish, oh, yeah. right around there. You're really good at weighing out four inch, four, four, four inch ounce. <laughs> Big four inch balls. <laughs> Me just just working with bowl balls. <laughs> <laughs> no. So you just break down the so then you know that each patty is gonna be about the same. Okay. So then I break the whole thing down. Mm-hmm. So I'll usually get a Costco pack and do it. So you probably get about seven or eight burgers out of it. That's a whole three pack, like just over three pounds. And then you put them all in balls, make weigh them four ounces. And then from there, put them on the parchment paper, put another piece of parchment paper over them, take like a, a plate or like a, a – I've, I've been using like a frying – like a small frying pan. Yeah, yeah. And like just push down on it with my weight, flatten them out. And then I have two next to each other on my cutting board. Take a piece of <coughs> – excuse me. Jeez, oh, I've been here for two seconds and I got a cough. <laughs> <laughs> um <clears throat> Take a piece of American cheese. Yeah. You know, it's square. Are you talking about like the fake stuff or the, the real deal? American stuff? cheese. Square. So out of the plastic thing? Every American cheese is fake as shit. It's processed. But it melts ooey gooey. <laughs> okay, I got you. So take the square, fold in one corner, fold in the other corner, fold in all four. Like a diamond. Essentially, yeah. Okay. Put it on one of the patties. Put the other four ounce patty on top of it. Make them together, so you now have an eight ounce patty with a with with a slice in the middle. Slice in the middle, then a little bit of garlic powder, salt, pepper, both sides. On the, okay, keep the grill at like a medium high, run it like 400, 450 ish. Keep them on there for about four to four minutes or so. Do the uh, quarter turn on each one of them. Same thing, like maybe three minutes. Flip them. Same thing. You get a nice crust on it on the queue. Put another piece of American on top of it. Make my own burger sauce. Which it, are we even allowed to talk about the, your own secret sauce? <sighs> can you just say ingredients? You don't have to say how, but can you just throw in a few of those ingredients for your burger sauce? Mayonnaise, ketchup, pickles, red onion, salt, pepper, Worcestershire. Ooh, dude, I'm telling you, you're gonna have to figure out your own ratio. Though I can't tell you that. <laughs> You can't be giving all the secrets. Dude, it's so good. And then shred lettuce. And then the trick is with your bun, get your buns ready, whatever you're going to use. I just use an onion one, like an onion bun. Uh, Jamie the loves night. those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I usually use a brioche. I think I like the brioche better. Yeah. But what I do with the brioche buns, spread mayonnaise on it. How? Like thick? I do. Yeah. Okay. Thick mayonnaise on both sides of it, face down on the grill. Oh, so you, so you, uh, grill them. Warm them up, but with like mayo just dripping on a little, down a little bit. Mayo, it just makes it like a, it's almost like a buttery like oh. deliciousness. Then they get grilled are up. Are you gaining weight? Or are you losing weight? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this. I'm maintaining. This, this sounds like the calories I'd eat in, in a week. <laughs> I'm maintaining. <laughs> um, and then that's it. You build your burger, bro. Dude, that is impressive. That sounds absolutely delicious. So, uh, I saw some bus with the boys. That I, I don't want to rip people off, but I thought it was a good. I, was, I, I gotta ask Joey this: What's your best side at a barbecue? Like, potato salad. Like they were saying, baked beans. No, potato salad. Don't do. 
And then in that potato salad, what's in it? Like you got a little back, you got a little uh, bacon in there, a little 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 uh, hard boiled egg, kind of chopped up in there. Some onion, some I have green a, onion. I have a sous chef that helps me with that, and uh, I basically just uh, do the dicing and slicing, and she makes it. And you focus on just the burger. It depends on what we're making, but yeah. I I mean I could whoop it. I can put it together. Yeah, a little mustard. My sous chef really pulls it together. <laughs> Like I'm just I, I all I do is cut and dice the potatoes, the pickles, yeah, eggs, yeah, oh yeah, mayonnaise, mustard, dude, party, let's do it, salt, pepper, let's, but do dude, it. Don't get me wrong, I am a sucker for good baked beans on a barbecue. Barbecue yeah, I'm, baked I'm, beans, I like sucker, but I like the canned baked beans. Like I, I don't oh, know if anyone Trav. Bush's baked beans has got to be the most delicious. You so, just every night to your dog. Uh, what's the recipe? <laughs> With, how do you make your own baked beans? What do you do? Are you shitting me? I am. Sh- I'm not shitting you. Trev, canned beans. Okay. Any ones you want, really. I'd go kidney. I'd go pinto. Oh, so you, yeah. I'd go black. But what are you throwing in there? Like brown sugar and some... I'd make bacon. I'd okay. cut up bacon, put it in there. Yeah. And then from there, it's... you. Barbecue sauce, little ketchup, little molasses, little yeah. seasoning. Or so for two fifty, yeah. I have the greatest, the most delicious can of of. Uh, though you cannot like, I don't like the other. There's some baked baked beans. I'm not a fan. Are of. you just a fan of the old school like Campbell pork and beans? Dude, I think it's because I was raised on it. Like it's like Dude, I like. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll freaking, I'll suck down a can of pork and beans. <laughs> That's not bad. It's not bad. I'll even, dude, like, I remember some of the meals my mom would get creative with. Now, my mom never got creative with, like, the fried bologna or, like, the spam. What? Like, never. Have ne- you ever had a fried bologna sandwich? Uh, you were the first person. You did no, a, I mean, like, you a, did a smoked bologna. Have you ever had a fried bologna sandwich? No. Dude, you cut it, you take a piece of bologna, okay? <laughs> and you cut it. <laughs> You're so into it. Okay. You cut it. You cut three little three little notches in it, maybe okay. an inch thick around the sl- the bologna round, and then you throw it in a pan and let it rip, and then you add whatever you want to the bread. It's like a there's certain things in life that will just like you crave. Not necessarily a bologna sandwich for me, but I'm a sucker for a meatloaf sandwich. Meatloaf is good. No, I'm a sucker for a meatloaf sandwich. I'm gonna make meatloaf tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not even because I want it out of the oven. I want it to get cold. I'll taste test it. And then I want to put the whole loaf in the oven and cut it up tomorrow for freaking me love sandwich. Next time you see me, I'm like my 600 pound life. <laughs> You're like, I can't quit the meatloaf. I'm on the. Did you hear about Joey? What? <laughs> they just took his roof off. <laughs> They're craning him out of this damn place. Ness Cranes is in front of his house right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're just giving him a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> they just had to roll him over. <laughs> Word on the street is. <laughs> He found a hoagie (laughs) in one of his rolls. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man! Just drive by, just drive by me hanging from a, (laughs) me me hanging from a by by your ankle, me hanging from a, me hanging from a crane. Fire department's out there giving <laughs> pressure washing me. Spraying you down. <laughs> okay, see you next month. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, oh, my stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. <laughs> yeah, I used to have such good feet. <laughs> He's such light, so light on his feet. <laughs> Man. Man. Ugh. Oh. Remember how I told you that in our previous podcast that like I normally like get in shape like in the yeah, off yeah. season. I'm gonna try to get in shape during the off season, during the season this year. Is it, oh really? Yeah, I've been slacking a little bit. You know, it's it, it's it's a slippery slope. 
Oh, is it? Tell me about it. Let me just tell you my my one month of dieting. <laughs> um, you know, Do you the, think a lot of that's water weight that you made. No, no, because I made sure I didn't. I wasn't working out. I just stopped eating. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I here's the thing. Uh, this is a pro tip for you guys out there. I'm in a weight loss challenge with a few people, Tyson Gamblin, KP, oh, a couple others. Okay, truth comes out. Yes. So we're all trying to drop some uh, drop some LBs. Um, How come nobody invited me to that party? Because there's uh, – do you want to – you can still join us by June 1st. I mean, you got 20 days to make weight. What do we got to do? How much weight? Just we gonna pick, a, pick a goal and go, go for it. It's got to be a mod- – like one guy lost it, and he's a super liberal. He lost it a few years ago. He had to donate five hundred dollars to the Trump campaign. That was his punishment, and it killed him. It killed him. Okay. Like, like, there, like, there's, there's types of. Uh, What's your guys' about? Well, we haven't really done it. We're kind of like I'm, I'm a newbie. I'm a rook. Trav, so Trav, 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 Trav loses. Uh, you have to go to Oregon Coast instead of Vegas. You, oh my no, god. god, take my leg. I, uh, but no, I. I've done this in the not this, but Trav, I've th- think of what what you would lose if you worked out on top of your diet. No, no, I know that's if you do it at the beginning, it, it, it you lose so much money or money you lose so much weight to begin with, and then and then you plateau. Here, I've changed my diet, and then in the, in the final week, I'm be, I'm I'm going to lose that water weight by working out. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I do not think you need to lift weights, but if you did on top of what you're doing right now, 20 minutes of cardio a day, don't you have elliptical out there? I, so here's the thing. If I you st- did 20 minutes a I, day. Yeah, I can't do that. I did 10 minutes. I almost puked. What? <laughs> no resistance? What? No, three three, three resistance and then two on the incline or, so, or four on the incline or something like that. It was, it was rough. You want to know what I did this morning? On the elliptical? Love to hear it. 12 inclined, 15 resistance, 30 minutes. And I, and my heart rate was up, but I didn't puke. How boring is that? See, that's the thing. These ellipticals are boring as shit. No, you got to change your mindset, dude. Think about it. You're standing in a place. You're walking in a place. In, in Trev, a place. Trev, you want to know what else is boring? Putting a headset on and gaming for four hours. That's awesome, actually. You could. Got to win. Shout out Aaron Center. Why don't you put a TV out there so you can game and elliptical at the same time? I might do that. Hold on. Let's ask my wife. Hey, what's up? Are you still recording? We're recording bangers. Question for you. What if yes. what if we put up a TV in the uh, in the garage? I can be on the elliptical and game out there, too. And I could just be doing all the cool things. Sure. That sound that sound cool. Yeah. What's up? What are you telling me? Nothing. I was just calling to see if you're done. I'm just now leaving work. All right. Sounds cool. All right. Love, Love you. you. See you soon. Bye. 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 Oh, deep. That was super cool. That was my guest. That was my guest, Jamie. I hear that. I do, I do hear this. And please don't. Please, please, don't be offended when I say this. Okay, that usually starts out good, but go on. The tea enchiladas are just crushing the Hollenbeck chalupas. That's okay, but you know who ordered it? I, I, I one person. No, since no. the last time you were there, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. So, um, I had to pay out because Andy to keep you on the menu. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I, I did a, We did a full body cast, uh, uh, NCAA men's bracket. Yeah, and Carrie Bentley won it, mm-hmm. so I had to pay her. Paid her twenty five dollars. For Mazatlan, got her gift card, and then also twenty five at Cole Street. But I paid her the twenty five at Mazatlan. Did you pay for it? Or did I did. Give it to no, you? I paid for them. Oh, you did. Well, I support my sponsors. The sponsors <laughs> support me, but nice. Nice. yeah, I think I'm getting the short end of the stick on some of the sponsorship. I, I gotta, I gotta pay, pay in. <laughs> but, but, uh, but no. But she ordered the Hollenbeck Chalupa. Loved it. Loved it, and just to give me like a little, like even more of like a. Hey, F you. I beat I beat you at it. I'm taking your money and I'm ordering the thing that rivals your food. She crushed it. And she loved it. She says great. Who doesn't love it? It's amazing. It is good. Thank it you. is good. I'm not it against good. it. You are against me being the only person on the menu though. No, you're against me being you were not thrilled. You I, were not thrilled. 
It's you can ride my coattails all you want, <laughs> brother. All you want. I am secure. I don't see your name as the king of Cole Street. You're, you're, you're <laughs> That's self-proclaimed. <laughs> I know. I don't call myself that. It's other people call me that. Don't, <laughs> I don't want anyone calling me that, but but you can, but I don't want you to. You're the only person that's ever called no, you that. No, no. It came from, it came from a, a, a good friend of mine, a mutual friend. He hooked it up one day. He said, you, you know who you are? You're the king of Cole Street. You? Here's 20 bucks. He, he don't need it. He doesn't need it. Hey, he'd crumple it in my face and throw it back at me. Oh, TV? Yeah, who knows? Okay. Who knows? He was out. He was he was out for a full body Friday night too. He came out. And then we also had burrito. We had burrito come out too. Nickname. Uh for you, I think I think you probably figure out who burrito is, but it might be like PT. But he uh the girls were like like, um, like he's like, "Oh, hey, because like Desi and, and Amanda and a few others are out there, uh, Sandra, Veronica, Shekinah. And he's like, hey, I'm Burrito. Like, they're like, oh, he's like, hey, he said his name. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. He goes, oh, you know me as Burrito. And they're like, oh, you're a Burrito. Because Mike Martinez and KP talk about him on on, on their, their their show. Yeah. KP and Mike Martinez have a show? Yeah. Well, I mean, K- KP comes on quite a bit at these different shows, but uh, Mike has Mike on the mic. Still? Well, it's been a year. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to do a pod with me and Mike. That's what you, we need you guys to do. have done it, but 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 no, we need to do it do again because we are. You guys are a lot more closer. You were just kind of feeling each other out that first see, one. See, see, yeah. Anyway, so can you give me some insight on what you did in Vegas while you were there? Yeah, like let me guess. Let me, oh yeah, I like this better. Let me guess what you did. Yeah, because I've not, we haven't heard this podcast fourteen times. <laughs> <laughs> in the last year and a half. So we switched it up this time. We actually came in at midnight, and then from there, we 